Welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War Carthage Campaign, episode 145th with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we had captured Fermon, captured Arimnium, and then didn't capture anything else, but we're going to work towards capturing more things because that's what we do. We've also got an issue with the Egyptians now beginning their advance towards us, so we're going to go and see them off and deflect them with Amicus Volubis, who will be able to close in within this turn. However, just to avoid being ganged up by two armies at once, this guy will reach me. This guy will not. Amicus. Well, how far is Mr. Footmost going to go? Footmost is going to go up to here, so... So what, if you make your way up to there, Mr. Amicus, and then wait for the Egyptians. Oh, wait, we've got a one there to deal with already. Captain Nacti. Right, well, we'll deal with Nasty Nacti in a minute then. But yeah, we've got a lot of Egyptians incoming, so we're just readying our defences to make sure that we're going to be ready for them. We're going to do it in a more professional manner than what the Julii do, who are currently scrabbling around, having a panic, and realising that they're in a bit of a situation. Since Agiricus Manica is now closing in on Salona, we could potentially grab it within a turn um, because the garrison has been left extremely weak if we manage to jump on these armies or alternative option is we leave Salona for now because as there is a high military presence and we sneak around and take Thessalonica instead and just keep it I mean it means we're only taking random bits of the enemy but at the same time we seem to be doing a marvelous job of just throwing them off balance so I'm going to authorize an attack on the western holdings of, well, the eastern holdings of the Julii. We're going to strike at this town by Lazara instead, because I don't think the Julii were expecting that, so ha 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 ha. Oh, what well, can we get to Thessalonica? The is these mountains not navigated? Yeah, these mountains can be navigated, but I'll take a while. Alright, we'll go for by Zalara then. For the town seems relatively large, so. There may be something worth taking from it, so we're going to have what we can from it. Fermon is just currently working on doing some repairs. Corinth we're also Sorry. about to siege. Uh, we could use an additional onager though before we attack the city, but then again, like last time we had a bit of an onager issue. Uh, unfortunately, we actually don't have an extra onager though to go in the city with, so this could be an issue because Captain Guys is probably going to try and pounce on us next turn. However, Sire. I have committed a lot of troops here and I'm not really going to turn them back because, you know what, I have a lot of elephants so we might be able to just blast the enemy down with elephants. We'll see how we go at combat. I'm going to, I'm going to maintain the siege, but Attack. we are going to... Oh, wait, we have our siege towers. Oh, well, fuck it, we're going to go in then. Uh, yeah, we're going to go in, but we are going to do that in a minute then. Well, oh, do we do Captain Nacti? For, oh, God. It's part for choice today, are we? Do we do Nacti? Do we do the Julii? <coughs> Well, why not both, and why don't I die? Because I'm dying of a cold. I bragged on Twitter the other day that I was getting better, and then karma came and smashed my ass right back down to earth. So yeah, we're in a bit of a battle phase at the minute. We've got fights to fight, battles to win. So, let's fight the fights, win the battles. We're going to do the battle I have the best feeling about first. We're going to go up to Corinth, and we're going to finish our capture of Corinth. So... We are going to take this city with some siege towers and we're going to do a bloody good job of it. So, commence the assault, Captain. See that the city falls to me and see, ah, he isn't joining. Good. That's what I wanted. Okay, Captain Titus has 415 men at his command. He has a unit of Praetorians, a unit of Legionary Regulari and a unit of Legionary Cavalry. We should be easily able to take him down, so... I am happy to commence the assault. Strep Vosio 6 to 1 in my favour because, yep, yeah, massive outnumbering. Fight it on the battle map, do a good job. That's all I ask. The lands of the dead will see many new souls before the sun sets. Just make sure that you are not one of them. Send our foes there instead! So, let your battle cries ring out clear and loud. Death! Death and glory! Death, glory, just make sure there's lots of dead Romans. Right. So, how is this one going to play out? Well... 
Plus, the enemies most likely to deploy is here, where they'll be watching for my siege towers. Now, what I need is access to a gate to march my sacred band through. We have two gates to pick from, because that one's going to be defended. We could go for this gate and march up via the temple, or the pantheon, or whatever you want to call it. That's uh, one option we have available to us. Or, we'll take this route via the theatre. And, well, because I'm a tourist, we may as well go this way, because I haven't been this way yet. So what we need to do is we need to rock up with our siege towers, grab these two towers, grab the gatehouse, march in before the enemy works out what I'm up to, control this square, and then, yeah, we're, we're good, really. The enemy is few and far in between in terms of numbers, so we should be sorted, really. So, Libyan Spears, we're going to put you here, here, and I don't know where the last one's going to go. Um... I think we actually may be able to accomplish this with two two of you guys. So tell you what, we'll keep the we'll keep your entire back as a reserve as a spare just in case. So you will just go up there, but just dismount for a minute. Wait near the tower as well, just in case, right? These two guys, but well, that'll be my primary climbing force. One will go there, capture this tower. One will go there, capture this tower, and move on to the gatehouse. Sacred band. Let's split you up into two groups of three. So. Going for a deeper formation today, so about four men deep. Maybe we could go a little. Actually, we could probably go a little shallower, just because we are most likely going to be dealing in urban streets. So uh, just in case, so we are going to go for a pretty squared-off formation today, because the chances of the enemy trying to meet us on the field are actually extremely slim. So we've got sacred man cavalry here. Long shield carry here. I think I'm going to just try and commit to use a sacred band and long shield cavalry today. Elephants definitely won't be getting a look in on this battle. Another big and powerful and brilliant. However, these guys are going to be best used for when we deal with the main Julii response, like that big army that's currently lurking around somewhere. Slingers, you're probably not going to get much use in this battle either. So I'm going to pop you here. Onager. Uh, Onager could just have its wicked way if it wants. Or it can try, try and take out some extra towers for me. So yeah, Onager, I'm going to put you here. And I'm going to see what you can do. Like, maybe if you could take out a tower for me. Oh, then, actually, no, we don't. No, nah, because you know It's going to be bloodless as well. Onager, you know what? You're going to sit out of it. I don't have a use for you right now. Right, either way, we're going to get this underway. Go for it. Sorry. <clears throat> Grab the walls, get the men in, just like last time, just like Arimnium. Right, let's do it. And the enemy doesn't know what Maybe I'm up to. I actually have deployed over there today, so right, they're sort of up on with what I'm doing, so we, we best not waste any time. So guys, if you could get moving, please, that would be brilliant. I probably should have put one of the siege towers to go there, actually. Oh well, I learned too slow. I'm not setting that one up now. I didn't, I didn't really recognise that one as capturable, or at least, you know, it's because you get closer to the gatehouse, it'll probably catch fire before it does anything useful. <coughs> right, sacred band. I want you prepared to march in. So if you can make your way here to this hill, and then we're going to march you in once we have control of the gates. Sacred band carry you up, he's seeing this battle. Long shield carry, I'm going to use you instead because you're cheap, foddery, and replaceable because there's. Probably going to be facilities to replace you here if you could just get yourself spare and you'd be ready as well. And that's really going to be it. Now we do have the legionary cavalry patrolling around looking for where they're going to position themselves today. It looks like they're not actually going to bother with the gatehouse, so that's fine. Where these guys are going though is the main question. These guys could be moving up to defend the gate. They could move up to defend a part of the gate. I don't want them to defend. Still, I guess that's why I have a spare siege tower, because you know what, we'll, if, if, if that's the case, we'll go for a really long walk, we'll capture a different gatehouse. But, these guys might actually just hold the lower gate, and that would be fine by me. Right, we are starting to take some fire, so it looks like we are beginning to get close. Uh, we are taking some minor artillery fire, some of my Libyan spearmen unfortunately are biting bullets, or sticks, or whatever it is, they fire bolts really. But we are getting our siege towers there. Your siege towers have reached the walls! Now the enemy cannot hide behind these pitiful walls! I won't say these walls are really pitiful, they're quite big. And in the Julii are playing into my hands. They are avoiding the gatehouse. Good. 
We'll try and lure some out into a fight later, but for now, may as well just focus on taking control of the walls. Are at the enemy walls. Now your men must open a way into the city. Well, men, open that way into the city, please. Your or just, yeah, back. thank you. Get moving. You only move when I'm looking, don't you, you losers? Oh, well, look, just get in there. You know what you're up to. Up the tower and make sure you do it properly. I want to see you guys just making sure we're doing a weird float. Yep, we're all floating up. So that tower is operating fine. I am just paranoid of glitches because they have a really bad habit of maliciously striking me down. This lot are now advancing. Ooh, dear, that's going to hurt. Uh, but yeah, these two guys are about to get. It, there you go, up they go, fantastic, right, we are doing very well and we are on our way to capturing all the towers we need because we don't really need a lot because this gate actually gives us more or less direct access to a plaza, it's just literally up this, past the square and we're already at the royal palace, so we are <coughs> heading in the very correct direction today. The most correct of directions, the super correct direction. Right, so our men will now just probably be getting out. I can see a few of them poking out. We're getting ready to bust out of the tower. So, in your own time, men. In your own time, we will speed up a little bit just so we can... I mean, I like watching the tower up, but let's face it. There isn't really anything for us to run out and pillage. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Right, out you come, men. Welcome to Corinth, your new home, our new conquest. If you'll be so kind to go and catch those gates and open them up for me, I would be very, very pleased with you. So off you go. And our other tower has actually just opened up and spilled its troops out. Guys, you will have your exact same order. Make your way to capturing that tower, so that means you will... Well, catching the gatehouse, so you will have to deal with the tower, but... If you guys could just go there, two heads are better than one, so off you go! The cowardly enemy have lost the walls! Send your troops and take the rest of the settlement! That's one tower taken, one to go. And then also a gatehouse as well. Looks like this tower isn't really going to fight back though, so that's fine by me. If our men just make their way in quickly, we should be ready to make a very efficient capture. And to be honest, yeah, I'm not going to bother take using my honor job, pillaging anything. This town's too useful to me to be burning down willy nilly, and I'm planning on holding on to it, you know, this isn't just. A case of sacking something because I'm feeling like an absolute dickhead, right? Sacred band, make your way up. Prepare to enter the city. Let's just hope that my uh, Libyan spears get there before you do. I don't want you guys just randomly dying to the defences. I'm going to ask you guys to, to uh, double time it just to make sure we do have that gate. Just because we, I have now basically given you a time limit in which you need to complete your current objective, so... If you could please go there and do what you need to do, and then we will be fantastic. Oh, we could just start gathering up there. Guys, come on. The guys are inbound, and you guys aren't really doing what you need to be doing. Come on, right. Sacred band, hold position. I don't want to move in and capture that gear. I don't want to move you guys in until that gear house is mine. Guys, are we having an idea of what we're doing, or are we just playing random assembly? Because that tower is firing at you as well, by the way. It is going at you in vengeance. So, guys, come on. Catch up a gatehouse. Do I need... Yeah, I had to give him an extra prod, didn't I? Right, come on. Make the gatehouse belong to me. And then you, it's not going to start killing you. Thank you. The gates are mine. Right. Libyan... I mean, well. Sacred Band, if you want to make your way in. And then take control of this square here and we should be well prepared to intercept any incoming julii so we'll put you both here and we'll spread you out a little bit there we go it's a nice big sandwich and uh, we've got some bad guys incoming right we'll see where they go so, uh long shields if you want to make you no way to entry I had a very long day at work, by the way, hence the uh, yawning and the headache. I should time I'm recording better, but I've had a kind of weird week where everything's going out of sync and I randomly get in, so yeah. Anyway, it looks like the Julii are moving in to intercept me now, so this is not good. 
They definitely know what I'm up to. I have been rumbled, but my my lovely big porcupines are incoming. So let's just speed this one up just to make sure. I mean, yeah, we do know that we have enemies inbound now. Where those guys go, actually, though, is of a question because they're either going to run up and contest my ownership of the gatehouse or they're just going to hold on to. Well, hold on to what we want to hold on to. Looks like we're going for a control of a tower, perhaps, maybe, or they're just. Yeah, they're going for control of a tower. They want to, they want to get house back. At least I think they do. Or are these guys just going on an excursion of some sort? I'm getting confused here, and I, and I feel like this confusion is unnecessary, but I feel like the enemy may be trying to ruse me in a very strange way. Are you going for the gatehouse, or are you just. No, they're just going over there. Alright. Do what you need to do, guys. But my sacred band is now going to turn, face, and absolutely smosh you. So, sacred band, I've given you an order. Please follow it. I know you're in a city, and I know that urban environments have a habit of confusing you. But right now, the Julii are putting all the cards in my deck, in a way, because they are just, like, avoiding you. So that's interesting. Also, we killed a few of them with that tower. We've also got that enemy cavalry unit now inbound, but I've got the other two guys. They're moving in to control the streets. You guys, this unit, I want to hold this street here because it looks like the enemy's going to try and deal with you. You better if you all put your spears down, but there we go. All right, we're engaged. Anyway, I want these guys cut off and I want them controlled or we could just all start moving over there for some reason. Guys, that's not making a proper formation. That's just being stupid. Guys, come on. Form your formation and do it properly this time. They're already wavering now because they're just being absolutely thick. Right, Sacred Band, do a better job this time. Get your spears down and don't play wavy gravy all the way to the left hand flank. Oh, wait, actually, the enemy just decided. Right, Sacred Band, you thank your lucky stars at how lucky you are because you are very lucky that. You were, you were fighting a unit that was equally as retarded as yourself, but you did not do, you did not excel in the field there. I'm just going to say that now, you did not excel in the field with what you were just, with that little display. <coughs> right. Guys, be good reform because we may have enemy cavalry inbound. They are doing a routine patrol. Kill any Julia that you happen to stumble across by the way. They are pretty much running all the way back to the plaza. I don't think they're going to be back for us, but you know. Stab them, cut them, slice them, do whatever you want, skew them. You know. Just make sure they all die. Nicely. Or deadly. Just kill them all. The more of them we kill, the better we do. Okay, man, let's start putting our formation up because, yeah, they're, they're the scares now. They're not, yeah. You all gone? Good. See you later, losers. Right, men. Let's get ourselves into a formation now. Make sure we're all ready and steady to go. And then we can deal with the enemy cavalry, which right now is very, very far away. So yeah, we'll put this baby on triple speed while we wait for the enemy to make a new move. For I am now currently the one making the moves. For well, this is now my game. I know where the ha the cards lie. Almost said where the hearts lie, but I I don't want to tell people where the hard's a line because I don't even know what a hard is. I know that there's such thing as a hard on, but that's not what we deal with in here. We deal with enemies that are hard dead. Or my army that is hardly competent at times. Right, have we got all of you guys in or are we having a bit of a traffic issue at the gates for some reason? That like, is making no sense. We are having a traffic issue today. Guys. Why are some of you leaving the city? Oh well, we're slowly squeezing in a few at a time at least. Uh, it's not like it's not like the end of the world, but it is like why? Why have one of you decided to make a formation here? Come on, guys, go over there and build your formation. Not there. you are very special, aren't you? There we go. Right, that's that congestion unblocked, thankfully, because that was bizarre. We can close the gate, thank you very much. Right, <clears throat> once once these guys have caught up to us, we are going to prepare our formation. Long shield cavalry, I want you to make your way... Oh God, where am I going to put the long shield cavalry? I know where I'm going to put them. Long shield cavalry, 
If you make your way up to there, you can flank around from that position. Okay, Sacred Band Group A. Let's just slow this one down now so we can start issuing some moves. Sacred Band Group A. Make your way here. Control the plat. Control the street. Basically, if the enemy wants to fight you, give them a fight. Band B. Make your way over there. If the enemy wants to fight you, give him a fight. Actually, you know what? Band A. No, Band B goes here. Band A. I want you to form up there a little further on. Either way, the enemy's going to be very tempted into fighting us, so we'll see where they go and we'll have to adapt accordingly. Either way, it's going to put ourselves spear facing forward. And the Sacred Band should be very, very capable of just mulching down what we're dealing with. Long Shield Cavalry can just basically come in and try and just get some cheap flank attacks, if you know what I mean. Right, it looks like so far the enemy is being quite non-reactive to us, but they are probably going to react now. Because we are going to draw into their line of sight, so they may have, well... Not that they have something planned for me, but... They may be, um... <coughs> the kind of weirdos that just kill you on sight. They're hostile, basically. Right, how are we doing? You're almost in position, men. Good, 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 good. Right. Looks like some of them are watching us as well, so they are getting ready. But usually the enemy doesn't go all out until one person sets foot on the plaza. And that's when the enemy gets super defensive. Anyway, Long Shield Cavalry, uh, you are doing a good job now. I know you are almost in position. So, when you are done, if you could bring yourself down here, you will be in an even better position, will you not? Yes, you will. So, you keep making your way down. Right, how are we doing over here? Still being watched. They are preparing to fight us. But as it stands, the enemy is very unwilling to fight us, so <clears throat> I am happy with that, if I'm honest, because then that means I can pick and choose where we're going to engage. We can basically close the gap on them in our own time. We don't have to be playing defensive, you know, we don't have to be reactive. We can be active instead, right. Cavalry must be getting close now, by the way. How are we doing? <coughs> They yeah, are now making their way down the street, so I do want to make sure we are ready because I suspect the enemy may be a little more willing to actually attack my long shield cavalry because long shield cavalry are really very good. So now we have this dumb shrine here, so we need to be wary of that because that can actually attempt to bugger a few things up for us. So I want this unit, Sacred Band, put your phalanx here and you shift yourselves up to here, please. And then we're not having to contend with this thing getting in the way. <coughs> right, anyway, all men are now more or less in position. So, ideally, one group of three will deal with the cavalry. <coughs> and the other group of three will finish off the Taurian cohort. We're not necessarily worried about these guys. They will probably just get killed in the mix because their unit is now extremely weak. So, we are in position. So, here's how it's going to go. This group, the big group, move on to here. Or just move, start moving forward cautiously. Because as soon as you set foot on that plaza, they are going to go mental. You get yourself up into this gap here. Because it looks like we've lured the enemy away. So this is your opportunity now to move in. Take control of that little area there. Enemy is moving in. They are coming in all for an all out attack. We are going to get a little suffer suffering on the flanks. And guys, if you could put your spears down, that would be even better. Um, because, yeah, then some of them are going to resort to swords. And then that's always bloody fun games there. Right, you guys. You support on the cavalry. You. I know you've just taken a face full of pillars, which never does you much good. But if you can start engaging those uh, Praetorians, and I can try and get you some support in. Cavalry! Guess who gets to provide support? Off you go. Right. You lot, move in and prepare to pull off some cheeky flanking. How's that legionary cavalry coming along? It is absolutely melting, so we are going to be very good for taking those guys down. Circle band so far, they're holding their numbers, they're holding their morale. 
these guys are now just coming in for the ultimate charge. Uh, and someone told me about wedge formation was absolutely useless. But is, is wedge formation good for anything? Or did, or did the devs just put that in just for just for fun? Because I don't know. Uh, guys, come on, be a bit more focused in your charging. I don't know what, why we're doing this zigzag formation, but it ain't fooling anyone. Because uh, there is a really, I don't understand why we are trying to fool anyone. If you just straight up charge in the back because they weren't looking, and that would have been better, right? Long Shield Cavalry with their famous morale won't hold very long in that battle, so we're going to pull them out as soon as possible. With haste, because I know you guys just don't do fighting. So that little initial charge, it's not going to necessarily kill their morale off, because there's a, we, aren't, we aren't really in that situation where we want to kill off their morale. You guys, by the way, you can go and focus on the Praetorians now, because the rest of our Sacred Band are happy to finish off the Cavalry. Even though some of them have resorted to swords because it looks like the formation is trying to break up a little bit. Guys, we try and get a formation. I mean, guys, come on. I don't know who's, who the wise guy is who said, yeah, you put your formation there. But whoever's doing that is undermining my authority by quite a bit. Now, fix your formation and do your job properly. Because now you've given the opportunity for these guys just to crunch in. Right? Guys, turn in. Finish off what's left there. Long shield cavalry. They went in for the charge. Did not really secure a lot of kills, they actually secured the enemy promotion, so that's always good, right? General's on the run, so right. Long shield, pull out of that engagement before you kill yourselves. Go and execute the captain for me. You guys move in so you are facing the back. Oh, there he goes. Right, long shields are getting quite happy now that they've just managed to pull off a very high value kill. And it is now just all down to finishing off these Praetorian cohorts now. So we've got Sacred Band now moving in to cover every flank. Long Shield Cavalry, if you want to get one more charge in, this is your opportunity to do so. But either way, there's about 50 of these guys left to wipe out. Well, down to 40. That's just dropped down to 25. Cavalry, that was an exquisite charge at the time. You are really doing a good job of wearing them down. I'm going to let you guys engage now. I'm sure morale is actually now just pretty much on an all time high. That's now that the captain. And the enemy is actually now quite tired, so, right, finish them off, what are we down to now, four, alright, cavalry, you can pull out the mix now, let the sacred band finish it. Sacred band, you know what to do. Kill these last few Romans, kill the last few Julii, and then we can say, how do you do, Corinth? This time I captured you properly, and you didn't get to bullshit your way out of it by making my men have erroneous pathfinding, even though that did occur. These men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. Take the man with a fancy cape as a prisoner. We'll ransom him for some cash. End the battle. <coughs> Victory lies in your grasp, and there is nothing the enemy can do but run. There isn't even anywhere for the enemy to run, though they will come running to Corinth to try and retake it. But either way, I am satisfied with our performance, more or less. Some random erroneous pathfinding going on, but oh well. Yeah, we can deal with that another day. For now. I'm happy with where we are. Corinth is mine. No, like, massive mega random losses. That shouldn't have happened. So that just gives me a little bit more control. And, oh, hello. Ah, we captured a wonder. Oh, now we have relieved something big off the enemy. Okay, uh, population does not like us. So we're going to have to go for an extermination in order to restore some order. So, yeah. Uh, we did some killing and stuff. But at the same time, we have a wonder now. Also, set it up for a growth build policy. Retrain whatever you can, mainly the Libyans and the Slingers and the Cavalry at least. Uh, repair the Aqueduct because we'll need that sanitation installed. And uh, if you can recruit an additional unit of Poenis, please. <coughs> That'd be fantastic. Uh, in terms of construction, while I do would say the Execution Square is useful, instead I want the Pantheon to be gone. Install a Temple to Bow. So we can start raising an additional Sacred Band as soon as possible. Anyway, Wanda captured, and I do believe it's this lovely big golden fella here. He ain't one of our gods, but oh well, I guess we can always appreciate the fine craftsmanship of other cultures who are used to be allied to myself, and uh, you know, there's always money to be made off it as well. Tourist trade. Still, controlling this statue does give us a lovely big bonus to our...
population loyalty in all seven. So this may actually be the thing that will help cure a few of our little, uh, upset populations. So I'm happy with that. Uh, there are other wonders that we probably should try and capture in the world. Uh, that being uh, two being hoarded up by the Egyptians, the pyramids and the uh, Great Lighthouse. They also do have, actually the Egyptians are just doing a fucking wonder monopoly today. Uh, they also control the Temple of Artemis, they control the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus and the Colossus of Rhodes. And the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, so yeah, actually the Egyptians are pretty much in control of the other wonders of the world. But hey, I have one of them, so... Woo! -hoo. I don't think there's any others in this area as well. No oracles of Delphi for us to control, or... A few famous battles going on here, though, where the, uh... <coughs> Julii were beating up the Greek cities, and the uh, Julii were also beating up the Greek cities. They were being very, very cruel to the Greek cities with all these famous victories. Oh well. Yes, right, Mr. Spy. I want you to see what's going down at Bylazara, even though you've only got a 68% chance. Same it's disturbing, same. but you have a majority chance, so uh, I would say have a go at it, but then again, it's actually a guaranteed fail for us, but. I'll see what's happening because I want to watch Bylazara because it's of great interest to me. And the only reason it is of great interest to me is because I'm going to bloody conquer it in a minute, aren't I? Right, what we know about this town is it gave me a trait increase, so that's good. And we have a 5% chance of whacking those gates open. Uh, looks like the infrastructure here is okay. <coughs> it's actually up to the level where it can recruit Praetorian, so that means we probably will be able to recruit Poeni from here at least. So. Garrison it up too much. However, it won't take long for the Julii to work out where I'm going and I will start moving their defences over. But if we can keep them moving, then that might prove advantageous to us if we can move in another strike team or something. And we've already taken advantage of their movements to take over Arimnium and we probably will get Aretium very soon. If we can just time it when Rome isn't looking. But yeah, I am still very happy with that capture. Uh, we are having a little bit of a population shrinkage, bro, so let's cut the taxes and um, uh, let's see. Anything repairs to do whilst need repairing, and can we retrain the dudes? Uh, retrain the barbarian mercs, but you know what? We'll disband the Sam Knights because our unit strength is getting quite low now. Those guys did take quite a beating. Captain Lucius, by the way, I haven't forgotten about you. You are on my list of people I want to deal with. Uh, my army is getting close to where I want it to be. You will be dealt with next turn, in fact. So I haven't forgotten about you. Patavium, we will set up with a secret police network just because the town does have a tendency to get a little bit ratty when I leave. So the secret police network would be um, <clears throat> of good interest. Animal sex, despite where I don't appreciate the Julia trying to make moves in the Mediterranean. Are you guys retrained trained up yet? Yes, you are, right. Prepare to challenge Admiral Sextus for domination. I don't want him in my water scene. Welcome here. Admiral Sakabal. Move up to Palmer and we might be able to provide you with something else. Uh, the Palmer is actually working on Queen Kareem, so I don't know. You guys can merge, hopefully. Maybe. I don't know, because sometimes merging just doesn't work. Um, looks like the Egyptians are starting to leave my waters a little bit as well. So we do sail. have control of Corinth's ports now for all that lovely bits of trade and the Britannians are just hovering. Uh, tell you what, Admiral, you will make yes, your way Lord. towards Go blockading more, more. Larissa now sail. because that's the port I want to block next. We're going to keep our things in the blockade. Lord. Admiral Queso is on his way though to give us a piece of his mind. Uh, we need to definitely reinforce Ships our blockade ready. of the Adriatic though, but that ain't going to happen at the minute just because we are a little bit low on men. So we'll sail to Arimnion and we will replenish ourselves there and then we will be able to, uh, well, have another go at blockading. Uh, I've got Admiral Giskin currently leading the blockade of Croton and that's all going well for us. I'm seeing a few Julia, I mean a few Booty I moving over there, so Admiral I Giskin, can Lord. you go and investigate? I don't want there to be a brute eye navy just hanging around. No, we're in, but we're at a lot of Julii in the area. Pretty scattered forces though, so I want you to initiate a blockade and then. Either way, <coughs> we're keeping brute eye trade at an all time low, so. Let's just uh, keep them on their toes. And those, those Julii may come into attack us, but we should be able to deflect them. 
Uh, Admiral has Trugal, by the way. Yeah, I don't need to bother going back to Lepsis Magna. If you if you want to be added to another navy, I'm going to recommend you head up to Syracuse. Uh, Admiral Philosia, you can move in and blockade Croton now. And basically now that means the Brute I have no money at all. Apart from trading with the Senate. And by a small extension for Julii, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Brutei, yeah, your economy's just been crippled, so I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry at the same time. Um, Lil Bame, you're doing fine. Yeah, we'll do, we're going to deal with all the end of turn admin, probably next episode at this rate, because we've had one battle and we're close to half an hour through, so we're going to have another battle, and I think that might be where I'll call it a day, just because I am kind of coming down with a headache and stuff like that, and whinge, 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 whinge. Uh, Captain Cadwell, uh, by the way, you're not welcome in my lands, but you'll be dealt with soon enough. I will have some troops deployed from Oscar to deal with you. But for now, we must deal with Nasty Nacti because the Egyptians are invading, and I ain't having that. Uh, Lepsis Magna, by the way, you are stocking up quite nicely with fresh troops. I'm going to send for additional troops now. So what have we got so far? We've got three Poenis, Libyan, two Slingers, Long Shields, and a War Elephant. Send across an armored elephant, all the sacred band, Libyan spearmen, cavalry, and the heavy onagers, and one slinger. Send all that to Alexis Magnus to start topping up his forces because we need to be ready for incoming Egyptians. Uh, Thapsus, keep fighting a good fight, and right. Amicus, oh yeah, and you're heading home, aren't you? Hamilcar, off you go, loser. Right. Amicus Belubis. You are now charged with trying to defeat Captain Nakdi. I don't know anything about his army, so that's already a worry. Unless you servant. would like to go and have a chat with him. I will speak with them at it once. won't do me anything, but having a chat with him will still give me, perhaps, the last chance to bitch my way out of this war, which I don't want to do, but... Well, actually, I do want to do it, because I don't want a war of the Egyptians. I'm going to deal with him later, but... Captain Nakdi is probably the wrong person to deal with, but yeah. Ceasefire it. He doesn't have a he doesn't he doesn't have a reason why right. Um, ceasefire, and I'll pay him off with a very very small amount of denarii. I'll give you three grand to piss off. That's my final offer. Nope. Okay. Whatever. Do you have a good look at his abbey by the way, uh, Jubal? You did, my son. Right. So we know that now along them are some Nubian spearmen. Those guys, yeah, they do fall on flanks, but to be honest, those guys are pretty dealable with. We've got Pharaoh's guards, who are annoying. Quite a few of these Egyptian chariots are lurking around. These are a melee variant. Those actually aren't as awful as I think they are. I mean, those guys can hit hard, but this time, if we can try and cap their mobility... I'd be ready to make sure they don't swarm around us. We should be alright now, but, but there are some chariot archers. They're going to be trickier to deal with, but if we can send... If we have a cavalry unit or some elephants, we might be able to deal with them. But then again, sending elephants is a risk, but at the same time, those guys can't, you know, send, send out a lot of fire arrows. There are Pharaoh's bowmen, however, and Pharaoh's guard, so those guys will be the priority to deal with. That being said, though, Pharaoh's bowmen seem to be quite a tame archer unit compared to, like, the archer auxilia. They don't seem to go all out for targeting elephants when they oh, whenever they get any opportunity they get. Still, that is to say that these guys are still a threat, but... <coughs> I say we have enough men to give this guy a run for his money. So, any good mercenaries that I should know of? Nope, right. Amicus. Or Amilcus. Attack! This is where you come into your own, hopefully. Delay this Egyptian attack, and we can prepare to deal with the next two. And then all the others that are coming better, we're going to have to play the Congo with the Egyptians. But if we can do enough, we may be able to push them back one day. Anyway, it is Amilcus Falubis fighting Captain Nakdi, Nasty Nakdi. The strength ratio is 2 to 1 in my favour, so that's already a good start. We outnumber him by about 500 men, and his full army roster is 4 Nubian spearmen, 2 units of skirmishers. Uh, he has got one, two, two units of chariots, one unit of chariot archers, a unit of Nile cavalry. Those guys look pretty spicy, but they're probably on the same level as some as long shield. Uh, but, uh, they are part of the elite cavalry, but I think, to be honest, given that they are actually pretty low on them, as they they would actually go down. 
Actually, the fact they don't carry shields probably makes them quite susceptible to slingers. They also do have an onager among them, but since there's only two men, I think actually it's just me two engineers just bumming about. They also have some Nubian cavalry that, I, that I guess they're just a light cavalry, but yeah, they're also an extremely low in number. Three units for Pharaoh's Burman. Now, those guys are a risk because they may actually target the elephants, but at the same time, these guys tend to be a little bit weird in battle. I think sometimes they're just used for their melee prowess. That being said, there are three units of Pharaoh's Guard. Definitely want to keep tabs on where those guys go, especially in relation to the uh, Nubians. And also a unit of Desert Axemen joins the crew to basically get in the way. So, it's a bit of a mixed bag, but that's what the Egyptians tend to do. They don't really have a defined structure to their armies. They definitely do like to mix and match their units, which makes them a pretty annoying fur to deal with at the best of times. So... Let's see if we could try and put what we learnt in the last time to use now. Let's fight this on the battle map. The enemy are here. They are ready to meet their gods. Take up the sword and be ready when the moment comes to fight! <laughs> the last, brave and noble soldiers, I say this, fight with the courage our people expect, fight like men! Right men, we're on a battlefield where the Egyptians definitely have a clear advantage today because it's a bit of a, uh, quite an open one, but at the same time there's, there's some hilliness that we can use to our advantage. This hill will be a good place for us to make our stand. First things first though, elephants! It's the back of a formation with you. You guys are useful, but only when the enemy archers are neutralized. So I'm going to group you up as like elephant company. You guys will await my orders. Right. Let's see what we have. So we have three sacred band today. Sacred band, you will be the front line of defense. We're going to make your formation relatively bulky in order to... Uh, be, be able to try and keep you onto a one-to-one -one casualty ratio, only like a one-to-one fighting ratio. Uh, and that being said, we also have four units of points. So it's going to be two on every flank. So you two will basically keep a watch on this flank because the Egyptians love to flank. We know they do that. They are born flankers. They are born to flank. So you two will be there. Monitor the flanks, make sure the Egyptians don't do anything nasty, and Libyan spearmen, if you could perhaps stop pretending to be Poeni infantry, that would be really useful to me. Or if I could just actually pay attention to what I'm selecting, that would also be very useful, but hey, they do kind of look similar, don't they? Right, so yeah, we've got those guys lined up. Once more, keeping the formation a bit bulkier than usual, just so then we can try and absorb more than we, what we usually do. I'm going to try and make these equally wide as well. So yeah, that's about right. So if we can get these guys doing it like so. Yep, there we go. Happy with that. Right, so let's just shift you guys up a little closer. Right, I'm happy with that. Cool. Right. On a jet. You are going to be on the interior of a formation, but you are going to be right there, just so uh, just so you know. When you do inevitably try to blow up my own men, it's not going to happen. Uh, skirmishers, you will also be in the interior of a formation, doing what you do best. Mercenary hoplites, you are going to be watching the back. You are going to be stretched a little thin, because you are going to be the holding force. But you will have two units of Libyan spearmen as well, watching your back. As you can see, we have basically now made a full square formation. I know there's going to be some sort of war playing saying, You fucking noob bastard. But what I'm going to say is, look, the Egyptians love to surround me. So we're going to make a formation that cannot be surrounded. I mean, hell, in Empire Total War, at least from what I very little know about it, but from what I pick up in random bits of internet chatter... Uh, and, and new friends I happen to have made. Um, but um, <coughs> apparently everyone just likes to fucking use square formation on cavalry nearby because square formation makes you dudes make it go into a square, which means, you know, cavalry aren't going to be getting that sweet flanking bonus they always seek. Cavalry! 
You're at the rear. <coughs> Waiting for your orders to do. Spare Libyan spearmen. You're the super back of the formation. You guys can be a bit of a wild card, and we're going to have you move around as I see fit. Um, if I can commit to that and commit to micromanaging for once in my life. Slingers, you know what you're doing. You're at the front, slinging. Um, Iberians, you are a reserve support unit. You'll be supporting the anything that tries to sneak past the hoplites. Right. So there's our formation. We've, we've, we're using the hill. We've made a square so we can't get surrounded and overwhelmed by the Egyptians this time. We're going to try and keep be flexible with our cavalry. We're going to try and be flexible with our elephants. Um, which actually means, yeah, we may just have to risk it and just go all in with the elephants. But I am going to try and send them to the back immediately, sir. Elephants, to the back of a class with ye. Just to make sure we don't get into trouble. Right. The Egyptians have started with quite a bit of different distance in between us. But they're going to manoeuvre themselves in quite quickly, sir. They are... Oh, wait, they're running. Oh, fuck, I'm aggressing, aren't I? Shit. Oops. Okay. Well, guys, we still more or less have a correct formation we need, so, um... I'm just not on it today, am I? Right, either way. Onagers. Move up and attack. Sacred Band. We're going to make our formation here now. We're going to keep it square in a way, so... Let's, uh, you know, let's not allow best practice to fade. So, we're going to keep our poor when he's watching our flank. Libyan spearmen who are going to be ganged up with my Libyans. Because I should have ganged you up earlier. You guys want to make up like a reverse formation there. That's fine by me. Uh, spare Libyans. I want you monitoring this flank because we've got some chariots lurking around there. Cavalry. You move yourselves up to there. Slingers, on the hill, ready to do your thing. Iberians, you also make your way up. Skirmishers, you make your way up. And we're going to move our entire army upwards and we're going to get ready to hit them. Elephants, you can come forward a little bit as well. I do not know why I got into my head that I was fighting defensive. I honestly do not know, but I think it is honestly because I am being stupid. Slash, you should not play when you just have a cold. You should only play a rub total war or any total war when you're in the, when you're in your best frame of mind. As in, not when you're ill and you've done a full day's of work. That's the wrong time to play Rome Total Rocks when you do yourself to thinking, oh shit, I'm not playing defensive, am I? For once I'm taking the fight to the Egyptians. So, um, yeah. <coughs> if we're Onager, you are going to target the frontmost units. You are going to try and hit those Nubians because they are quite numerous. The numerous Nubians. And basically, wherever those Onagers deploy is where we will set up our army for our attacks. So. Uh, we are just watching them for the minute, but we have got every unit now just moving up and getting ready. The Egyptians must be wondering, why the fuck are we marching in a square, or why did we make a square? Right. Onagers are still moving up, so right, Sacred Band, we can move up a little further if we want. We can move up to the point back here. Must be getting close now, I mean, come on, Onagers, I know you can fire that far. I know what you like. I really do. I know how far you guys can fire. Right, let's just speed it up a little bit as well, just to make sure we are getting to formation, where we can quickly build that formation. Because probably once these shots start going out, the Egyptians may start to get a little bit agitated at what I'm doing. Except we're moving in really, really close. Onagers. I'm getting concerned that you may be getting a bit too close. I need to halt. Because I bet you will start firing at well, because I know you have fire at will permissions enabled. Can you hit them from there? Nope. Okay, I believe you for once then. Right. Onagers, continue your move forward. Sacred Band, we are going to set ourselves up here now. So if you want to set up here, so I think that's probably going to be where we're going to end up. And we've got all our other units coming in now. So Poenis, uh, if I could get you guys here and here. We're going to keep you being like the wings of our army, basically. Um, reverse formation, if you can make your way up here. Slingers, keep keep coming forward. Onagers, are we gonna like stop moving one day? Maybe, maybe not. I just don't know anymore. Just the onagers. We you, you can hit it from there. You can do it from there. I know you can. Do it from there. You, you guys are now. Yeah. Right, we found our shooting spot. Right, let's make our formation. Then we're gonna assemble ourselves here, and we are gonna get ourselves ready. So right, Poenis. 
put your formation here to cover the flanks. Po any two, put your formation here to cover the flanks. Rear unit, you go here. Slingers, you go here. Skirmishers, you go here. Iberians, you go here. Cavalry, you will go here. Elephants, you will go there. Right. Everyone knows where we need to go now. Onagers are just doing what they can in a minute. Hopefully we we'll... Yes! First shot of the day. Or at least I was... Well, we've already fired a few shots, but... First hit of the day, and... While quite a few recovered, I did see a lot of them get burned up, so I'm gonna take that one. Ooh, close. <coughs> I'm gonna remain happy with our result there. Right. Keep it up, Onagers, keep it up. Let's focus on this unit now. Um, or, you know, I'm trying to hit whatever's dead center, but yeah, whatever we hit, we should be good with, really. Uh, unless we do target the, the uh, Pharaoh's Guard, who will be a more fun target to hit. And obviously, they are harder to kill, so may as well just kill, kill whatever's hard to deal with now. Okay, but when he's, you keep moving in to create your formation, Libyan Spearmen, spare Libyans, by the way. Uh, you are going to rock up over here now just to um, basically provide some additional support. Ooh, oh. Fantastic. That is a whole less bunch of Pharaoh's Guard to deal with now. That is like cut that unit down to a much more reasonable size. That did not go well, right? Units, we are now making our formation. It is looking very, very good now. I am happy with where it's going. I thought we were going to hit that chariot for a minute, but oh well. Managed to take down a few of our skirmishes. That's good. Those guys do have a slight bonus against the elephant, so seeing that those guys get murdered is actually a very, very useful thing to me. Only clip that unit then. There's the Onager guys, by the way. Wishing they had one of our Onagers. You can't have our toys, boys, unfortunately. Oh, shit. Who did I just make do that? Right, guys, stop. Don't be uh, getting ideas now. I did not mean to make you go and attack the archers. We'll deal with them another day. Just make sure you're back in formation, please. Right. You guys are looking really good where you are. Where is my other unit, Pawanis? Come on, come on, guys. We've got to keep this one going. Keep this one going fast. Right. I've got my reverse formation ready to basically start moving out and doing what it needs to do. Not, it's not looking as cool as it once did. I had the perfect square set up, and then I, in my paracetamol-induced nightmare scenario, I realised that fuck, I was on the attacking side for once. Oh well, <coughs> it happens, right? Not really the best one there. Come on, Onagers! I know you could do this. I know you could do this, right? How are we doing for setting up now? We are doing good, my men. Uh, if you two want to just keep yourselves there, by the way, because. I want you to be ready to fire at will, basically. Libyan, uh, Libyan Spearman. Spearman, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you two now set up to basically just extend the wings of our formation. Hoplite, you are now going to provide a rather lengthy backup to the uh, skirmishers. By the way, skirmishers, no skirmishing from you, please. Iberians, you're just going to watch the back. I think we may be able to keep the enemy cavalry under control this time around. Because we are just basically making our formation wide and angled, so we may be able to deflect whatever comes our way. So, oh, hang on! I always get the best sense of satisfaction when I watch a load of units just get blown up like that. Just watching our lives just get obliterated in the blink of an eye. Right, oh! There we go! <coughs> it might be a bit more than the blink of an eye, but either way... You do get to save or watching them all go down. It's like punching a really big soft punching bag in a way. But, you know, it's like you, you basically make the air fly out of it. And, oh dear, a sandstorm's coming in. This may affect the accuracy of my onager a little bit. Not that it was accurate anyway, but... Oh well, oh well, oh well. Right. Onager, keep fighting a good fight. Just keep it up for now. I want to see more shots going out. I want to see as many shots as possible hitting the enemy. You know what you're up to. Close. Close, close. Still. Oh wait, you hit the chariots. Well done. Well bloody done. That's a few less of them to worry about now. And oh, oh right in the middle of that formation. Wow. That unit is going to be much easier to deal with now in the future, right? 
Onager, you still got shots to go, so please make sure they are going out, even though I know now they are going to have a very hard time hitting where they need to hit due to the sandstorm coming in, or if, if weather actually does affect. I've never really known the weather to affect this game, but let's move through a few more of those guys have gone down. The uh, little burnt horses now, poor little horses, they didn't really know what they were getting into, having to deal with these Egyptians, but oh well. They were corralled on the wrong side of my borders, I guess, as the saying goes. Right. <clears throat> Not getting as many hits as I want to get here right now. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Ooh. Perfection. That was a good hit there as well. Right. Onager, what are we doing? We are now very close to running out of ammo, actually. But we are... Oof. We are getting more hits than we usually do today, and I am pretty, pretty pleased as punch. That is the case. Oh. Ah, we hit somewhere that we already hit. Damn it. Right, we really probably have about two or three more shots left now. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come on, Olaji. I know you can do better than this. Well, you have done better than this, so... Uh, but then again, it's like new... I think we're getting close to setting a new record for this bloody Olaji today. It has had a very... Uh, it's out of ammo, right? Onager, you can go home. Just let me check your stats. What have you done today? 8%. Somehow I thought you did more, but I was still happy to take 8% because you know what? There's still a bloody load of enemy units, so that's probably close. I think we've probably knocked out at least 100, getting close to 200 men there. So, a very good job. A very good job indeed. So... Let's move up now. Looks like the enemy is just going to wait for me to make my move. So, Slingers, you are going to play with the Desert Axemen today. Sacred Band. We are going to move our formation up a little further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can get the... Uh, I'm going to see if I can get the Egyptians sufficiently riled up using the Slingers. We are just going to move our formation up a little closer. So, Pawenis, if you can also start moving in as well. I mean, we can try and lure the Egyptians into basically charging our line. We may, be, we may have a better opportunity of taking them down. I feel like we may have played better defensively with this army than offensively because I haven't really brought an offensive focused army in, in some ways. It is more of a defensive army, but oh well. you got to be ready for anything, haven't you? Ready for ready, ready for ready. Right. We've been spearmen. Keep my flanks safe. Keep them policed. Keep those chariots away. Oh, the sun is back out, by the way. The sun has returned. Right. Hoplites. Keep those gaps policed. Skirmishers. Keep uh, keep skirmishing. Iberian infantry. Keep existing. You two. Oh, well, you one. You want to make your way up there, by the way. And you one as well. You want to just keep policing my flanks. Cavalry. You just keep hovering. You keep lurking. Right. Slingers have found themselves under attack. They're being hit by Pharaoh's bowmen. Well, give them a taste of their own medicine. Or you might want to loosen out your formation. Either way, it looks like the Egyptians have seen through what I'm doing. So, they have sufficiently countered my movement, right? But, at the same time, actually, if they've moved out so far... Long shields... They've drawn themselves in front of their own spear line. This could be an opportunity for you to get them. Looks like they're going to bring the Nubians to try and prevent me from doing this, however. So, I'm going to make this quick. And, oh, wait. What have you brought out? What have you brought out? Oh, your Nile Cavalry. Those guys I said those things would do well against the set. Now I'm actually going to get kind of mulched. But, oh, well. Right, you. Smash does. Ferris Bowmen. Right. Good charge, good charge, good charge, good charge. Bouncer force is evenly matched. Fighting is a distinct possibility. Alright. Now cavalry's having a bit too much fun for my men, right? Long shields, I'm gonna pull you out because I can't micromanage you right now. I'm, I can't babysit you. Libyan spears. Keep that now, cavalry busy. Oh, you did a very good job there. They just fucked off right away. Right, good. Slingers, back in the back in the fray with you. You guys. Those Pharaoh's bowmen have just given you a right royal backside in there. Give them another go. Show them that we don't take well to having our comrades killed in the field of battle. Alright, we are, we, are, we are pitting them quite nicely there. We have shaken the enemy up. Ours are quite shaken as well, though, so it could go either way. Uh, looks like uh, 
Fair as well, I maintained composure in the field this time around. And exercise myself superiority, right. Ain't over yet, Pharaoh's Bowman. They're playing a little more aggressively than usual with their archers, but that's okay. Right, give them another quick volley with all your slings before they come in. And don't skirmish. Should have made you stand a fight earlier. Right. One good skirmish will probably knock these guys the fuck out. Yep, yeah, knocked them the fuck out. Well done, guys. And that's why you bring a shield into battle, loser. <coughs> right. What have we got coming up now? Got some Pharaoh's Bowmen looking for trouble, that's what we've got. Like they always are, really, right. Try and pull yourself out of your... Oh, wow, a nice one killing him, by the way. Try and keep out of their range. I want to deal with the... I mean, we could try and move these guys further out, really, but I want to try and hit those Desert Axes, but it looks like we're going to get the attention of those Chariots instead, which is not so ideal, actually. I don't want to deal with Chariots. Fuck Chariots, they're annoying, great. I think we may have to give the Egyptians what they want in a way and start moving the formation forward. If we do that though, we have to move forward relatively aggressively because we will have the enemy just knocking at our door saying, guys, can I just smash you up with my archers because that is what the Egyptians are up to. And the Longshield Cavalry have escaped the battlefield so we will not be seeing them again today. <coughs> it is a shame, I think I kind of let them down a bit today. but. Oh, well, they're only long shields, and we're fighting a very elite archer unit, so, um, I guess, uh, I mean, but that's the annoying thing with Pharaoh's Bowmen. They do have a, they do have that holding power that makes them more tenacious than other archer units, which can be a bit of a hedgehog for us sometimes, right? Getting a few gaps in our formation, which I don't like. Guys, let's try and de-gap our formation. We don't want gaps forming, because that's when... The enemy starts looking for opportunities to worm their way past me at my my watch right. <coughs> We're getting hit again by something by where I think it's these bloody bastards now. Right, one volley. Loosen up your formation as well. But I think we're starting to get the attention of some of these enemies, so we may be able no 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 lose the formation. Lose the formation. Shit to me, right. Oh god, a Nubian cavalry is coming for a go now as well, right. One volley and kill him. Right. Slingers, I have let you down today. They are on the run. Right. The Egyptians are being clever today. Alright, we're stupid. But even with the Egyptians, they've dug themselves in with their, with their missile power, and that is a bit of a nadger for me. Because in a way, I don't want to deal with him now, but at the same time, I have to, don't I? So, right. Men, we're going to start moving in. And we're going to move in. We're going to move in aggressively. <clears throat> I'm going to try and keep our engagements one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to use our Libyan spearmen to make sure we are providing an expert policing force on our flanks. So, Pawenis, what the fuck are you playing at right now? Because what I'm seeing is a lot of disorganization. Get moving. Right. You two as well. Start moving up on his flank, right. Libyan Spearman, start moving up. I want you to monitor where those guys are up to. Other Libyan Spearman. We're going to degroup that mercenary hoplite. You guys will move on your own accord, but you may just be expected to engage a unit on your own now. But other Libyan Spearman. While well, you guys are going there, where are my other Libyans then? Right, you two. Watch this flank. Ensure that those other chariots, I mean, they're, they're going to avoid us, but monitor their progress. Right. Pharaoh's bowmen are doing what they do best, and they're getting in my way now. Skirmishers, I want you to target the enemy skirmishers to so start moving up to attack them. Iberian infantry, go over there. You're going to fill a gap, and you're going to try and see if you can lure something tasty over. Sacred band, we're going to move forward effectively now. Just get moving. We're gonna have to wait for those Poenis to play catch up. It looks like that the it looks like the, the uh, Poenis are what the enemy wants to play with. Uh, where are your mates, by the way? Alright, oh, you're all just moving in this one big fucking hedgehog, right? Guys, put your formation there. Sacred band. You give one of us you give one of us Pharaoh's bum and what for, and you might just convince the others to withdraw. We are gonna try and keep our fights one on one, so keep moving. 
and don't let up, right? Enemy chariots are now starting to move up, so we are going to have a few issues. One, that's just for us guys, isn't it? They're just trying to be around. This thing is, welcome back to the game, by the way. Keep moving up, right? Elephants, I'm going to move you in because you know what? If we can keep the Pharaoh's bowmen busy, I will be happy to bring you guys in. And I think we really do need something with heavy killing power to drive the enemy into submission. <coughs> Right, infantry, tighten up your formation, prepare to engage. You guys, move in, engage the Pharaoh's guard. You should not have any worry about your ability to engage them. You are a superior unit to those smelly Egyptians who, you know what? They're fucking pretenders, by the way. They're just pretending to be Egyptian, right? Libyan spearmen, we're getting some engagements. Move in, keep those chariots busy. Amicus, if you could provide support against them, that'd be fantastic, right? You're going to be dealing with some ax riled up axemen instead. Right. One engagement per unit. You will engage one unit and you will try to engage that unit only. So, right. Guys, the Pharaoh's... No, no, no. You deal with those Pharaoh's guard. You deal with those Pharaoh's guard. You prepare to flank those Pharaoh's guard. You lot deal with the Nubians. They are for you. You get in there and deal with those Nubians. You... You can play the skirmishes if you want, but I don't recommend it. Amicus, those chariots aren't going to get killed themselves. I, I would love for them to kill themselves, but it's not going to happen right. Sense of our formation is getting a little rappy, so we're going to start losing a couple of men. Amicus, rally your men. Starting to lose control. We need more cavalry power. Right, elephants. I want a big, dirty charge right in the middle. It's good. It's suicidal. It's stupid. But, it might just put the fear of God in, in the hearts of the enemy, right? Poenis, get around that flank and get ready to do something. Amicus, where the hell have you got to, right? Don't engage that unit, they're not for you to engage. Right, we've driven off those lovely, well, not those lovely, we've driven off those annoying ferrets. Right, elephants, I don't know why you went over there, by the way, but can we try and keep it, keep it clean? Elephant regulars, you can go in for that dirty centre charge now, right? Losing a few areas on the flank here. We've got Libyan spin trying to engage. Enemy captain is dead. Sacred Band are falling now. Sacred Band, get yourselves back in there. <coughs> elephants. Even a depleted unit of minor elephants is doing a fantastic job of driving the enemy back. It looks like we may just be able to bring this one back into our control. A little bit uncertain in, in that main engagement there. I think I made a couple of tactical errors. Just trying to move in there because the enemy was just basically being a big fucking confusing wall. Which means Mr. Squawker needs to learn. Now I know how to use a phalanx. Now I've got to learn how to fucking fight one. One, it's, it, you know, it's one thing knowing how to use my troops. Now I've got to learn how to basically work against my troops in a way. But still, <coughs> that'll be useful. If I learn how to fight against a phalanx, I'll know how to better protect my own. See, it all comes full circle eventually. Elephant regulars, you've got incoming, you've got some spears who are a bit pissed off. Actually, 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 no. Go and mop up what's left. I think the Egyptians have called it a day now and they're running away. Let's see Let's see that we kill them all off now. What's going on over here, by the way? What are we dealing with? Some Pharaoh's guard, or Pharaoh's bow, and are trying to kill off my Libyan spearmen. Amicus, where are you at right now? Amicus, go and give those guys a hand, please. They could use it. Right, elephants. Oh no, retard me, charged her. Ah, just kidding, they fucking retreated instantly. Good going, elephants. You will earn yourselves many treats tonight. Right. Keep it up, men. Elephant regulars, keep those pharaohs bowmen away. I don't want them setting fire to you because that's what dickheads do who are cruel to animals. Finish them all off. Drive them from the battlefield! If there's one thing the Egyptians have too many of, it's too many troops. We want to cut that down. We want to fix that issue immediately. So let's just make sure we start a big old good call now. Next time, though, I'm bringing more cavalry to this battle. It's all about good bringing two units of elephants who can basically bring home the mega charge at the end when the enemy's a bit more disorganized. But I think I definitely need to be bringing in sick, at least one unit of sacred band cavalry per engagement now because... Um... We need something to definitely cut down Pharaoh's bomb and the Egyptians, I mean, you know, it's not common for us to see the Juliar Brutia use Archer Rocks here, but they seem to be a rare unit for them to use. Here, the Egyptians are using Archers on the regular and they're using them to basically deflect any attack I make, so 
we need to bring in more cavalry to keep the Egyptians away. Right. Deal with whatever's left. Elephants, turn around. Have your fun. Make sure you're sniping them out as well with your bows and arrows. Amilcus. Put some pep in your pepper. Or, you know, put some jet in your engine. Or put some spunk in your junk. Either way. Can you just kill everything? The more enemies you kill, the better you will do. And the more the better you do, the more I start to like you. The more likely it is that I won't give you airship or anything because to most disinheriting a character really seems to fuck his life up for good. So um, the only time I ever do it, and even though it is a ta tactically inept thing to do, is if I want to be playing as a Roman family and I want to keep the line pure as possible because I'm bloody weird. And possibly genocide. Right. Elephants, you're not having a lot of fun dealing with this. So that's why I slowed you down. Amicus, come on. You're nearly at the end of a battle. Just get your head in the game. Get these guys out. I'm not like bloody tin cans, like the bloody urban cohorts, but you know, these guys should be less so tin cans. I mean, their armor's kind of more flexible and roby and stuff like that. And we're not carrying those big bulky shields, so uh, yeah, you guys actually should be having no troubles killing them off, but then again, elephants are just fucking raining hellfire on them now with their archers. I love it when you elephants do that. Did any elephants die on the battlefield today, by the way? I think at least one did. Hello? Elephant corpses anywhere? Come on, I'm carrying, I'm carrying at least one regular elephant died somewhere on this battlefield. Where the hell did... Oh, there we oh, Two elephants died, unfortunately. Oh, well. And they died. Well, one died sniffing the other's ass. But you know what? Good performance, my elephants. You definitely gave me a decisive blow to winning this battle today. <coughs> so some of my mental failing. The lies in your grasp. And there is nothing the enemy can do but run. A clear victory uh, that I am very happy with. There's still a few errors in my technique in dealing with these Egyptians, but we are learning more with every battle we fight against them. But for now, Captain Nakdi leaves with basically three quarters of his army wiped out, which, uh, well, only 69%, sorry, close to three quarters of his army were wiped out. So I am happy with that, and I lost less than half my troops, so I am very happy with that. Should be enough for us to quickly return, retrain, and prepare for the next wave of enemies. So, battle to statistics, by the way. Here are some kills. Uh, looks like our standout unit today was the uh, general with 259 kills. So, well done, him. But then again, it was more because I'm just very aggressive when it comes to using my general. Uh, special shout out to Mercenary Hoplites. I don't think they engaged a lot, but still, they still managed to take home 58 kills, early three losses. So, that's a new record for them. Long shield cavalry, despite them routing in the field, they actually still brought in 80 kills. So, I'm actually still pleased with their performance. Some of our Poenis did very well. Some did take quite a beating, though. Uh, heavy Onagers, 178 kills. Fantastic. And Valor is a contempt of death and pain. And I think some of my men definitely do show a lot of contempt for that. Others, maybe not so much. Either way, that's one Egyptian army deflected. A few more to deflect. We'll return home, retrain, and then we will deal with the next incoming wave of troops. So for now, Amicus, I suggest you make your way home to avoid being... Well, you may get intercepted by Captain Acheniot, but luckily his arm is a little smaller. So just in case he does intercept you, I'm going to just quickly uh, merge up a couple of your troops just to make sure your men are in fighting fit order. Uh, looks like we've pretty much merged up as much as we can there. Uh, actually, we could merge these two guys into one unit. Yeah, there we go, two units. Right, ghoul. Right, you should be okay to deal with them now. It says you can, well, well, now you can't move forward any further. Anyway, if you can make your way back to Lepsis Magna ASAP, you will be in a good position. But that is actually where we are going to call an episode. So yeah, we didn't really do any campaign admin, but oh well. That can happen another day. For now, two battles won, one of which took us another city. Next time, we're going to make our plans for getting to buy Lazara. I'm going to keep on deflecting those Egyptians and maybe make some other plans. Eretium's looking prime for the taking now, so I think we should prepare to do so. But how we will do that, though, you may find out on the next episode. So, I shall see you there, my friends.